thought a, a productive, uh, productive Wednesday. Um, you know, we um, thought we were a lot cleaner today than we were on Tuesday. The, the effort was still really good. The energy was still really good. The guy, the spirit of the team was good. I thought the execution was just vastly improved. Um, um, you know, especially in uh, on offense and defense. Um, you know, and special teams wise. There's little things that we're really trying to focus on and work on that I think we can really improve ourselves with uh, in our coverage units uh, and then obviously in the return game. Um, we just haven't had many opportunities. And so hopefully we can improve upon that this week and then moving forward. Uh, I know the, the kicker from Boston College is a huge leg, so I don't know how many returns we'll get, but it is a point of emphasis of ours that I think we can improve upon. Uh, obviously we got uh, more work out of Leonard today than we got yesterday, which is positive. Um, and we should probably get even more tomorrow and obviously moving towards the ball game, uh, which is good. Um, outside of that, you know, a little bit of a different week. Obviously, we're traveling tomorrow uh, after practice to Boston. We get in tomorrow night, um, and then we'll work out there Friday and have our walkthrough stuff and then uh, get ready for the game Saturday. So, um, again, a unique challenge, as we touched on, going over 3,000 miles across the country to play, uh, 8 o'clock kickoff, so uh, you know, a chance for us to just kind of continue to stay focused on the task at hand and not, again, just not get caught up in where the game is or what time or, or what the travel's like and just focusing on the, the things of importance and I think our guys are doing that so far. There's a, a couple guys like Trey and Lamar where you're, you know, it seems like you're going to hold them out, give them an extra week with the bye to, mm -hmm. to get healthy. Is it any consideration given with Leonard to do something like that? Uh, our goal is to go win the game and if Leonard's healthy enough to play, he's going to play. We, we need to go win the game. What has um, Gerald Bowman brought to this defense? Well, I think what Gerald's brought is, you know, here's a guy who was a JC transfer, so he had a little different road of getting here. Got here and had fought off some injuries, maybe some playing time issues. Um, and, and I think he brings uh, a senior attitude of, of grateful of the opportunity, embraces every day he gets to be out here, whether it's obviously on game day but in practices. And I think that that is really contagious. I, I think that, you know, he appreciates the opportunity that he has. Uh, and he makes the most of it every day he takes the field. And I think it's a great message to send to our younger players. Would you put Leonard on any sort of snap count or maybe rotate him more knowing you have the buyer? If he goes, he goes regular. Well, we, we rotated him pretty pretty good last week. You know, it was a it was a decent four man rotation, especially when we went into our nickel package. Um, those inside guys with Leonard, Antoine, Claude, and, and Delvon. So, um, you know, everybody's better when they're fresh. And so if we can. Um, keep a good rotation going. I think we'll maximize our, our opportunities when we're on the field, and, and Leonard's just one example of that. You talked last week Steve, about wanting to see more consistent consistency from Claude and um, Delvin. Did, do you see that? Yeah, I, I think I think we did. Uh, I think there's still plenty of room for improvement, um, but but I like I like the fact that we improve from one week to the next. Now, in my opinion, that's not good enough. You know, we're we're, we're not good enough yet, but. Um, we did improve and, and against a, a good a good old line, against a good offense. Um, you know, I love the fact that, that Delvon blocked the field goal. Um, that was a sheer effort play. It wasn't about technique or fundamental. There, there was some of that, but to me, that, that was a sign of effort. And um, that is something with those two guys, especially that had to, you know, a JC guy coming in or a guy, and then in Delvon, a guy who really took the year off, who had a red shirt because he transferred. It's raising your level of effort all the time and not taking a playoff and I thought that that play was really indicative of that for Delvon to, to, to get his hand on the ball and how significant of a play it really was now looking back on it so hopefully that just gives both of those guys another kind of you know another charge into them of man when, when you're playing with great effort good things happen. How about Chris Alvarado that was his first time out on the field? Um, you know it was a unique challenge you know obviously Ty Montgomery is a tremendous returner um, and we knew that going in, and we tried to be really specific of where we were placing the ball and different things. Uh, I think Chris can perform better than he performed Saturday. Um, you know, I, I would like to think he'll pin opponents inside the 10 better. He hit the one into the end zone, which is normally a strength of his. So 
Uh, first time out, he really had the first game jitters in game two. Um, so I'd like to think he'll perform better, you know, and, and you know, hopefully he doesn't get too many opportunities Saturday. But uh, it, the opportunities that he gets, uh, you know, I think he'll perform at a better at a better level. You, you guys obviously ended the game with sacks on two consecutive plays. You didn't have one up until that point. What are your thoughts on the pass rush in general so well, far? Well, I'd like to turn our guys loose a little bit more. Um, you know, Stanford, to their credit, had a, had a nice game plan. Um, and kept us a little, you know, uh, off guard in, in a sense. And I thought Hogan did a good job at the line of scrimmage, checking in and out of runs and passes and different things. And they were running the ball on some third downs and throwing it on first downs and, and it kind of kept us off balance some. Um, but, I, but I would in, in some more obvious passing situations. I'd like to turn our guys loose a little bit more. Um, and I think that'll come again in just in time. Now, we miss some too. You know, we missed them. I believe two or three times in the backfield where I sure would like to think Sue is going to get them down there or JR is going to get them down there when we, when we miss some open ones. And we miss some open ones against Fresno as, as well. So we just need to keep working on it. Um, again, as we touched on after the game, there was I had a laundry list of stuff that I think we need to improve upon, and that definitely was one of them. You said that, you know, a letdown is something naturally you would have to, you know, a coach would have to be concerned about. What do you do to kind of monitor you know, whether there's signs of that, and, and have you seen any signs of it? Well, I watch his practice. I mean, that's the best thing I can do. I, I, I'm very observant in meetings um, about our attention span in meetings. We've been very attentive. Um, the guys are taking great notes. Um, we've, we've come on the field, and, you know, we haven't had anybody late. We haven't had guys straggling out. I mean, I think guys are understanding the importance of, of getting on the field early, uh, being prepared for practice, being in, in tents, competing with one another when we're going goods on goods, focusing on the details uh, in our service periods or in our scout team periods. So all those things have, have shown up for me. Um, ultimately, it's going to be how we play Saturday night, you know. Um, and another one for me is just the way we travel them all, you know, that, that we don't change it. You know, we're just, we keep doing things the way we do them, uh, regardless of who the opponent is or where we're headed and all those things. And so, um, I've never mentioned letdown to our team or guarding against letdown, um, just like I haven't mentioned distractions and other things that way. We can focus on what we can do 